What a week this has been for Boston, Texas, and our entire country. Fear, anxiety, devastating sadness, unimaginable destruction and loss. I'm Rena Hedeman, and today I'm going to talk about healing from tragedy and loss. In recent months, we've had to face one awful, senseless tragedy after another, with the mind-blowing effects of Hurricane Sandy, the horrifying shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School, and most recently, the heinous bombing in Boston, the tragic explosion in Texas, and the anxiety-producing manhunt for the Boston Marathon bomber. It is also horrifying. It's simply beyond comprehension. We can't even wrap our brains around this. We ask ourselves, why did this happen? Why would anyone ever inflict such evil upon another human being? We might even find ourselves questioning our belief in God. Yet the answer to our healing and our broken world is not retaliation, revenge, or even unbridled anger. It's loving kindness and human connection. As we pick up the pieces of our hearts and begin the healing process, it is so important to focus on the good that springs forth in difficult times like this. The compassion of individuals, the outpouring of love and support from total strangers, the resilience, unity, and strength of communities and of our country as a whole, the faith and courage to mend, rebuild, and move forward. We feel our emotions collide as we experience opposing feelings simultaneously. The deepest sadness along with relief and joy. Tears of pain alongside smiles of gratitude. Horror and fear at the same time as courage and faith. Anger and despair alongside love and compassion. Tough times like this remind us of our strength, individually and collectively. We are drawn closer together in spirit and resilience. We have a much greater sense of what's truly important to us, what our deepest priorities are, and what life is really all about. We realize there are so many heroes around us, the first responders and civilians who risked and often lost their lives to save others, the police who worked tirelessly for days without rest, the hospital staff who tried their best to perform medical miracles. But perhaps the most beautiful souls in times of crisis are people like you, those who reach out in small but significant ways to offer a hand, take in strangers, give food, much needed hugs and a shoulder to cry on and hope. You unsung heroes remind us that what matters more than great deeds are the small, continued acts of great human kindness. So I want to personally thank you for that and to ask that we all continue to give our time, our resources, and our unconditional love to those who continue to suffer in the weeks and months to come. Especially as time marches on and the headlines change, if we all continue to reach out, if we ask others, how can I help? and we ask our communities, how can I be of service? Then neither terrorism nor tragedy has won the battle. Loving human kindness wins every time. And if you know someone who might like this message and benefit from it, I hope you'll share it with them. This broken world needs our collective healing, and you, my dear, are such an important part of that process. Thank you.